Hi, Dr. Dave here, and today we're going to answer the question, why get adjusted? And the simple answer is you'll feel better and you'll function better. But it goes deeper than that, and I think to really understand the answer to that question, you need to understand a couple of key concepts, one of which is what are chiropractors actually fixing? What are they treating? And they're actually treating something called a subluxation. Now, a subluxation is when the bones of the spine are out of alignment, or they might be in alignment at rest, but when you move your body parts, they move incorrectly, causing an irritation, or even if it's really bad, a pinching on the nerve. Most of the time, it's some level of irritation to the nervous system. So keep in mind that the brain is up here talking to the body parts, to your heart, to your stomach, to your bladder, down your arms, down your legs. It's talking to those body parts through the nervous system. Those body parts are talking back to the brain, creating a two-way communication of life and health, through the nervous system. So when we have any kind of blockage or irritation to the nerves themselves, we're going to have breakdown, dysfunction, disease, etc., etc. So what chiropractors are attempting to do is we're looking for these any evidence of the subluxation, doing adjustments on the spine to open up those nerve channels, restore normal motion patterns and positioning of, of the of the frame of the body, the spine. And therefore we can allow the brain to talk to the body parts suddenly and almost miraculously so sometimes the arm feels better, the stomach starts working better, and some really cool things like that. So that's the first concept, subluxation. The second concept is the domino chain effect. So uh, you get a subluxation, you have an injury or a muscle spasm or something affecting how the neck moves appropriately or the back moves appropriately, causing this nerve interference. Then it causes some dysfunction that causes another dysfunction. There's a lack of feedback to the brain, and so the brain isn't aware of some dysfunction, so it tells another body part to do something to compensate for that. So these things just tend to layer up, accumulating into some level of disease or dysfunction. And what you have here is like domino, effect domino, effect domino, effect domino, pain or a symptom. So you start to feel bad. Generally what happens is you have some level of dysfunction that eventually starts to feel bad. And that's what usually motivates somebody to come to the doctor or to the chiropractor or whoever to get something fixed. And so their thinking is, if I feel better, I'm therefore healthier. So we have, let's say, 10 dominoes in a chain. That 10th domino is the one that's causing, let's say, your low back pain or your headaches. And you get enough treatment just to back off that one domino. Are you really that much better? So the concept here is, well, yeah, we want to feel better, of course, but we want to function better so the body can heal itself. So why get adjusted? Because subluxations cause nervous system stress, which then causes organ dysfunction, which increases your potential for disease. Why get adjusted? Because subluxations cause stiffness in your frame. You do less. You don't feel good. So you don't want to go play with your kids or whatever. If you're old and you're prone to injury and prone to pain syndromes, why get adjusted? Because you're going to have physical weakness. And when you have interference in the nervous system over time, you have mental weakness, mental fatigue. Why get adjusted? Because you'll feel better. If you have pain, dysfunction, tightness, you'll just feel better when you start to relieve those things. So why get adjusted? Improve your function, bodily function. It improves bodily efficiency and the body will heal itself. So this is Dr. Dave signing off and get adjusted.